you know, I wear this wig the least because it is so ultra obviously that's not my hair. That I'm just like, hey, I'm gonna see, whatever. But it doesn't matter, we're not actually trying to convince anybody that this here is my own parting. That this here is the own, my own texture of hair. We all know it ain't, so hopefully yes, it's a wig. Mm -hmm. My acne. It's like a girl, but it's getting better. Mm. Doesn't hurt that much. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday because that's just what I do. Alright, alright, so it's not like I don't have clothes. It's that I don't really care to change out into something more youtube uh, just for the sake of coming and chat because a lot of times when i rock up all up in this like youngstrosity environment um it's an urgent message and when something is urgent who in the world under heaven has time to like change into a new outfit who who so just take this like nasty little jersey in your stride and the like vest underneath because it's what we do at the end of the day i still look good and since i still look good all that matters right now is that one day is one day and after school is after school that's what's good so Lois may age looking like a hobo sign saying, y'all, I got stuff to share. I got stuff to deliver up in this monstrosity. As their wig. Insecurity. It makes me so insecure. Because like you said, yes, it's a wig. Look there, look there. It's sun. It's like a Carabo expose much. Vibe much. Anyway, listen. All right, we've got some stuff to say. I'm still busy trying to upload my 17 part series. It's actually fully done. I just want to make sure that my 48 part and everything else that I've done in the middle is uploaded across all my channels. Because uh. I have a few channels, including Facebook. So while I'm getting it online, um, I'm just busy doing this like little filler work um, in the center to make sure that all is good. That's the thing also about this wig. It's going to keep me like patting it, patting it and pat your weave, lady. Pat, pat. Can you tell that I've just woken up and washed my face? No, of course not. Why? Because I'm wearing makeup. That's what's good. I've put on a makeup app that takes away the puffiness of my face when I've just woken up. Yo, my life is sore and it's sad and it's hard. I still have those headaches that I was talking about yesterday. Um, the one that's like just above my eye. I took a grandpa this morning. In fact, I took two because the headache was that bad. Mm, that's what's good. Yeah. Uh, because of spiritual attack, demons all up in my grill are some you're gonna do what we string must do. And I'm like, no, I won't. I, I, I pop and I won't. I'm not. I'm not gonna do what you say I must do. Because I belong to Jesus, but that's not something that people are counting on handling themselves with it, grabbing it, running with it like Costa Semenya. Mm, that's not what people are trying to do. So they're gonna keep on afflicting me, and every so often the headache will get so bad that I'll pop like a grandpa. But for the better part of the time, I survive. Um, look at me right now, right here in Lesa Cranky, I'm smiling. I've got like more cheek than I would appreciate. That would be vanger, like, you know, fat. Uh, cause I've gained weight. Mm, but I'm not like, I'm not fat. I'm just bigger than what I'd appreciate. You saw me the other day when I was busy jiggling around in front of you. Uh, jiggy jiggy. That's what getting jiggy with it. Na, 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 na. Anyway, whatever y'all, you saw me getting all jiggy jiggy. Uh, and, and just what in the world has happened with my body. Well, that was a little bit of an exaggeration to a certain extent because I was wearing baggy clothes and I had put shorts on top of the shorts I was wearing underneath in that video um, because the shorts I was wearing underneath were too cheeky. They were too tiny. They were too short for me to record in my Christian ministry wearing them. So I put other shorts on top of them uh, so that <clears throat> I'm not indecent. So I made myself look a little bit bigger. However, you could see that there's a little bit more knee fat than I would appreciate. Less toning, blah, blah. If at all, you've seen my older content. I have gained weight. Not so much that um, I would be barely recognizable or that even my face would, you know, be barely recognizable. I don't even think that if I lost weight, you would see a difference in my face because I um, haven't gained weight like that. My hands, the ring that I wear that is for Jesus Christ still fits. So I guess that's a nice little gauge as to whether or not I'm that fat. I don't even think it's possible for me to get too fat anyway because it's just genetics, all right? Uh, women in my family blow up like a balloon bomba bomba after pregnancy. So thank you for making sure that that doesn't happen. General world by making sure that I can't meet a man that makes sense, that loves Jesus Christ, that then is going to put a baby in my stomach. That's then going to make sure that you get to see the full potential of just how big the women in my family can get. But prior to that, we tend to be skinny my linky linky dink, skinny my linky do. It has never been tested, this hypothesis, for women in their 40s because no one has ever gotten to the age of 40 in my family that is a fam that is a woman that doesn't have a child. I'm going to like make history. 
And the reason why that's like even a thing, y'all can tell I've got plaits underneath here. This thing is not sitting flat. Let me go. Ew. Ah, it's in my plaid Anyway, whatever. Let's get to like the better point because we're trying to do that. Uh, yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a little bit of an anomaly, a longitudinal study to see what happens to women in my family when they don't have children by a certain age. It's that basic. They just, they don't gain weight. It does not run in my family. I'm not actually the only one. No creation. My sister, my older sister also doesn't have kids and she's older than me by two years. She's already 40, uh, 41. All right. Uh, so I guess, yeah. And she's also skinny, my linky, dinky, ding, skinny, my linky, do I love you? We're done breaking out into melodies, at least for now, because it's my gift. I get to use it. I get to use it. Anyway, whatever, right? I got something else to talk about, RJ, in these streets. You see these vangers, these cheeks all up in your grill, they're like, mm, what's your, mm, 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 and, uh, mm, <sighs> start to wave them goodbye start to do a little bit of a peace sign on some i'm gonna miss you cheeks all right because crop is going back to her skinny self but i was out there in these streets being tempted to let my cheeks grow my vangers get big my vangers make the circle bigger i was tempted to let my cheeks get big and just basically leave myself in this state frankly because of vanity why because apparently, allegedly, it's not okay for some people to have a glow up, according to the internet, to a point where they will give sucky, droopy, disgusting, bad advice to human beings that are doing a better thing actually in these streets. And I was tempted to be like, okay, maybe I should just sit around and let my muscles go to the dogs. Let my body go to the dogs. Let the silly lad come back with a vengeance. Let everything fall apart. Because apparently to have more fat on your body as you get older is to look younger. And since I don't yet have a husband, and since everything is falling apart, since I'm not even really sure, even though I keep preaching about it, if the rapture is going to happen any minute now, because I've got, like, doubt issues, I still need to look cute for my hubby. So I would much rather have him look at me, be a pretty little young-looking wife, instead of be this old, saggy lady. But, oh, look at you go with your muscle. You got a muscle, girl. Ooh, you got muscle. I was tempted to go out like that, like proper vanity. Mm. Vanity of which really has been induced into my uncomfortable bones by the injection of persecution. And I was like, leave me alone. Frankly, I just want to go out in the sunset, have babies. I don't care about the stretch marks on my stomach and the saggy skin on my stomach after having like twins and triplets and like quadruplets because it's better to be your mommy than to have like an hourglass shape forever and ever like nobody ages. I'm happy to get all fat and so far as i've got some kids to show for it that's what's good but you can dream on about me allowing myself to get like a little bit of a blob that looks like i've had four kids when i have no babies it's not happening that's what's good so now i'm all concerned because i'm getting all old and stuff you know like i'm 39 in a few days on the 8th of august Halabeke. somebody hit me a shout out happy birthday karabu thank you whatever let's move on because nothing about my life is happy mm turning 39 in a minute okay so apparently allegedly when you like hop over to the age of 40 or whatever mm, you guys yeah no uh people start getting this like stomach belly pooch thing that doesn't want to go away and their muscle mass like dwindles and stuff and no matter how hard you train you like squat you jump up and down like nothing works and i'm like in this dreary drudgery gangster violin music is playing in the background with an ominous disposition telling people over 40 to just like throw in the towel please there's nothing left anymore just throw in the towel you can squat as much as you want you're still gonna be flabby you're still gonna be flabby and you're gonna get that pooch lock it or not you're gonna get that unremovable cellulite no matter what it's just gonna happen so just let go let go let go! Whoa, there's literally a section of the internet out here telling people that stuff. I was like, Ooh, I guess I'm gonna have to start letting go. I'm gonna have to start doing that letting go stuff. Eh? I mean, i never been married. I never had no babies. I still wanna be pretty for my husband should he arrive. Should the Lord not rap to the body of Christ? Yet, should the Lord say, Karaba, go out there and occupy, baby girl, baby girl, I'm only, I'm still gonna take another 50 years to rap to them peoples. So go on, baby, live. Live and get to a nice little rap old age. Should the Lord make a decision to do something in that nature? Cause he got faith, he got grace for you. He's got grace for you. 
He's letting you continue to do the serve. Should the Lord do that? I guess I'm just going to have to take in my stride, Dad. I guess I got to let myself go. Because I'm 40 now. That's me crying inside. Realize that I'm being told by certain segments of the internet, you know, people are savage, worse even than Beyonce and Megan Thee Stallion. Savage on the internet, savage! Hey! But there was those, like, young gentlemen that I also follow that kind of sobered me to realize how incredibly savage, savage the internet is. Over complete strangers. You know, there was a total time, once upon a time, back in the day... When you only envy people that were like in your environment, like your best friend, your next door neighbor's daughter, your colleague, but like if they were on TV or whatever, who in the world envies Beyonce all the way in America so far away proper? Like she is too far for you to be envying. But in the last days, it is written in God's word that people are just going to wax worse, being deceived, going on to deceive others. Evil men will just wax worse to a point where you will envy someone inside a television set. And these days, Beyonce is on YouTube, right? She doesn't have to, like, strive at a talent agency, get recognized, sign a record deal, and only then be like, at first we started our real coup, taking me places I ain't never been, no. Yeah, no, mm -mm. no longer do people who want to become stars. Yeah, gotta go through all that. All you have to do is just kind of like <clears throat> clear your voice. <clears throat> uh, testing one, two. Go, go, go. Testing one, two. Uh. Hi, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Next thing you've got like a million followers and don't nobody know how you got there. But you know, you got that skill. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know how to grow a base. Good for you. So now you're bored. You've got like the same level of fame. As celebrities, there are YouTube people who have got like celebrity type fame and they did not knock on a single door of a single talent agency. They just did their own thing on their own. So now there's like more celebrities on this earth than frankly we can all appreciate. And you recognize them at the mall and stuff and all they do is the small screen, the very small screen. So small that it is that sometimes it stays just on your cell phone. It's called social media. And these like influencer people, everybody be thinking it's their next door neighbor. Everybody be thinking it's the girl next door. Mm -mm. Everybody be thinking it's the colleague chick. Mm -mm. Everybody be thinking it's the high school friend. Hey, but like it's a Beyonce, just one that did not go through a talent agency auditioning and having to slap other people on the left and right that could have rather been chosen, but it rather became her. <laughs> the whole process of getting recognized and seen back in the day was, oh, you know, it was rough. It was, it was rough. It was really rough. Yeah, but people now these days don't gotta go through that. They don't have to get rejected by unseemly human individuals that don't quite recognize that they're stars. I'm a star, don't you see? I'm a star. And they're like, I'm sorry, no, you are over the age of 22, so frankly, you are too old and the entertainment industry is ageistic, so get out, get out, but I'm a star. I said, get out, you gotta be 14 in order to do anything fuzz, you gotta enter here when you are still a baby in your mother's womb, get out, get out, I'm a star. And then the agency tells you, get the step in. Mm. No more auditioning in front of rando people that are rolling their eyes as you audition. And you can tell you've already lost a job before it even comes. No more. Now you can try channel after channel after channel, niche after niche after niche, without anybody wreaking havoc in your confidence as you audition. Yeah, I had a few stints back in the day with these random agencies. Because I got scouted a lot in the street by random modeling agencies and I would go and then like they'd be like no sorry not for me not for me I was like I'm sorry I didn't even want to be a model and here it is that I rock up because I'm scout your scout your scout your person that you hired to go and find like random innocent teenage girls in the mall to do whatever I, I, I called you I came here because I wanted to make an extra buck as a kid <laughs> that's as good as <laughs> give me money give me money and then I rock up and I audition and you tell me not for me you literally get your girl to bring me here and now that I'm here you tell me I ain't jack I'm sorry the confidence issues were too much I was like as in I'm an academic I'm doing well in school I do science and maths so don't come at me with a flying kick so I like dropped out I was not interested I was not about to go and cheraza and strive the way the people in the entertainment industry cheraza and strive plus I didn't even want fame I just wanted pocket money because my mom was stingy mm. But it never got anywhere. It never went anywhere. And I stopped listening to like uh, scouting agents. I started cutting up their like business cards. I was like, ain't nobody gonna tell me I ain't Jack. Ain't nobody. Especially not if some little lady or some little dude in the street gave me a card promising me that I'm gonna be a 
I don't know, like some TV presenter, and then next thing, I'm not. I'm not doing it. Yeah. That whole thing that I went through, mm, now there's like YouTube to eradicate that middleman. You don't gotta. All you have to like do is have a little bit of a bright, sparky idea. And then next thing you've got like 500 subscribers. It's like, oh, look at there go. Like what? I did exactly what I did in front of that talent scout. I did exactly what I was supposed to do in front of that television, in front of that audition room full of like nasty little people chewing bubble gum like I ain't Jack. And 500 people gave me a round of applause. Whereas those guys told me, no, you're not for me today. YouTube makes stars out of random Janes and random Joes on the street. Not just YouTube, but other social media platforms, right? So because of how easy it is now to like get seen because now finally people see your talent in a way that's talent Agents and talent TV people or whatever are just not trying to give you a break and a Kit Kat mm. Everybody now thinks that the youtuber is Frankly as good as the next door neighbors kid everybody thinks that the youtuber is as good as your best friend Everybody thinks that the youtuber is, a, is as good as your colleague um, Everybody thinks the youtuber is as good as just this random chick here so I can go to football, slap her with a sorcery curse. I can just hit her like that. I mean, how many people back in the day were out in these streets trying to bewitch Beyonce when she was starting out? Bills. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? Can you pay my automobile bills, baby bills? I don't think you do. So you and me are through with a vi vi. How many people of the Disney's Child or all of like the, all of them, not just Beyonce, when they were busy doing like you know, uh, nasty, put some clothes on. I told you, don't mess, don't walk out your house without your clothes on. Nasty, put some clothes on. How many of them were trying to come at Beyonce with witchcraft? How many? Rarely any of her fans were out there in these streets on some Beyonce's more or less my age. So, like the girl in my high school, I'm going to bewitch her, but now. People find you on the internet and they probably imagine you a feasible option. They find you on YouTube and they don't see you as a Beyonce. They don't see you as a Kim Kardashian. They don't see you as something far away that frankly it would be naive for me to cast a spell on it. That's too far. We're in the last days where everybody thanks to how easy it is to start a YouTube channel. How you basically have a platform as soon as you click start. As soon as you click upload, you already have a platform. You already some, have some people liking your content. You're basically a broadcast television show. Mm-hmm. Without going through the auditions. And so because of how easy it is to get started, everybody out there in these streets be bewitching random strangers on the internet. It's the last days. And men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, ungiving, always learning, never coming to a knowledge of truth, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, despisers of those who do good, have nothing to do with such people. They are a total buffoonery. Do not fall apart the way that they're falling apart, because the last day's conglomerate of human beings are going to spitefully just bewitch random strangers on the internet when they would have never had the bravado to bewitch Kerry Hilson when she was first starting out. You fly as heck, swear to right, guess what I'm doing? I'm telling you tomorrow that what's going to happen is that you'll be turning me on. you turning me on. Better recognize a real woman. Mm -hmm. Everybody here looking at me. I'm just so pretty. Don't nobody move. You better recognize a real woman. Mm. When she was busy being like, my name is Carrie. I'm so very fly. Oh my, it's a little bit scary. Boys want to marry. Looking at my dairy. Mm. Pretty as a picture. Mad because I'm cuter than the girl that's with ya. When Carrie was doing that, don't nobody be bewitching her from a distance because she's far. She went through the, the, the whole process of like mowing other girls on the left and on the right that were trying to get that slot and she won it. So everybody was like, she's a star, she's a star, Carrie, Carrie. And they gave her the platform that she was supposed to have and the only people that were beastly in competing with her were in the entertainment industry who in and of themselves had gone through the same rabioche. They'd gone through the same rabioche to basically get to where they're at. So Beyonce was the one that was busy afflicting Carrie's career. It was, give me another lady ball back in the day. I could say, but it's another like entertainment industry, like Lady Chica, who went through hell and back to get that position. So they fight with each other because they're in each other's league. Yeah. But now... You get like fans. Imagine like a fan proper attending a Beyonce concert on some 
When is she gonna be so pretty? Why is she gonna have all that muscle? Why is she gonna be liked by so many people? That's not even her own real hair. Oh, please. The only reason she don't got silly light is because she's always wearing 10 stockings on top of those thighs. Only look at her when she wake up in the morning and go in the shower. You will see orange peel effect. Oh, please. Oh, please. And then fupa, 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 fupa with witchcraft. How many people do that? Oh my goodness, no, rarely any. Rarely any, at least back in the day. But now, people are finding random total strangers on the internet, on YouTube, TikTok, and all of the Instagram machine. And they're like, Ugh. Oh please, you didn't even audition. Just cause somebody liked your content. There are crazy people here on the earth. There are crazy people so crazy that they will go and subscribe to you. For what? I see the truth about you. You're nothing. Fine, so you have 700 people who have followed you, so what? At the end of the day, I can get a thousand. Who are you? You did not even have to stand. You can't even sing to save your life. You can't do, you can't act, you can't sing, you can't dance. You can't make jokes, you can't do it. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, I'm a hater, I'm a hater, I'm a hater with a lazy eye. I'm a hater. But don't nobody see me cause I'm a keyboard warrior. I fight on the keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So Chicky be trying to start a YouTube channel cause she can sing. Oh, busy, oh, it's a cover. Hey, it's Adele. More life She's trying. Oh, oh, baby, go easy on me. I have a good intentions and the highest hopes, um, but I know that now. Better, better, now, boo, boo, do. Better, da, da, go easy on you, baby. Since you were like a child. And the poor chick is doing covers out there in these streets serenading some people. And somebody's like, oh please, you can't even sing. I heard you choke. You ain't Jack. If you went to a real audition, don't nobody listen to you. Okay, you don't got star quality. You have that shower voice. And some people on YouTube don't have an ear to hear. They've got tone deafness. So of course you've got 500 subscribers from that one video. Obvious. The world is full of crazy people that think people who don't have talent have talent. But if you were to stand in front of an actual judge and audition, ha, huh, they will tell you, go easy on yourself, girl. You can't sing. Literally, don't quit your day job. <laughs> Witchcraft. Mm. That's what's currently happening. People who are not going through the middleman because the middleman can be really mean and the middleman does not care about the fact that they're human and they've got emotions. And so therefore, the middleman gets cut out and this chick now all of a sudden has like her gargantuan following on Instagram. But now she's getting bewitched by fans. How many of be were Beyonce's fans bewitch her? No, nah, Papa, I need to understand. Rarely any, but in the 21st century, on this side of the tracks, people are bewitching complete strangers on the net machine. Complete strangers, because they probably are like, you didn't go through the proper channels, and so therefore you're as good as me. You're like my next door neighbor, I know how easy it is to start an Instagram, a Twitter, and how easy it is to start a TikTok, I know how easy it is to start a YouTube, so I'm just going to be like, whop, 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 and it's going to be evident that you don't have talent, like keep it to the ground. Last day's moral turpitude. And here it is that Karazi was roaming around these like YouTube streets, properly trying to find advice, counsel on weight loss. Not that I don't have advice, not that I don't know how to do it, but you know, I'm discouraged, so I need glow up motivation. Mm. I need these people who have had some of the most amazing glow ups, weight loss glow ups. And so when you watch them, you get all encouraged. I especially like watching the ones who are obese. Like the ones that were like super duper, like super duper 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 expelliarly-docious califragistic. Uh, big. I like watching them getting skinny. I absolutely love watching obese people get little. Like a little bit of a lizzo ending up like slender like I don't know. I don't know. Give me like a Kendall Jenner or whatever. Yeah, I really like watching glow ups. I do and I've loved watching them for a minute because I love fitness. I love fitness, I love eating right, I love food and studying what it does for the body, how it enables this and that. It's just one of my interests. It's one of the things that ever since entering into persecution, I've gained a keen um, 
what is this adoration for the study of due to the fact that i in and of myself have had to find a way to get fit haven't always loved fitness and food and health and nutrition but i got into it once i was in persecution because my life sucked so bad that i had to i guess develop that discipline because i was going nowhere otherwise i would be sedentary i would be sitting around gathering dust and there was no way in the heaven that i was gonna let just let myself go especially considering i'm not married i don't have children i've yet to meet my husband all that jazz i want to look good on my wedding day i want to look good for my husband i want to look good for the man that is going to ultimately be the one who that I'm gonna marry right that was my mindset before I imagined that that ship has sailed because currently I, I literally believe that that ship has completely sailed right uh so I then got into this stuff and I studied it and I found all of these weight loss transformations it was like a whole big fat chunky trend on the internet mm everywhere like you go to tiktok it's there you go to uh facebook it's there you go to youtube it's there and it's so motivational it's so inspirational and i can just like guzzle these ladies and guys i can just like consume this content all day non-stop it gives me the gut so it makes me push it makes me push it makes me see that there is potential in me that's what's good so right now i've gained a whole bunch of weight i don't even do the skill i i just know that i've gained weight because certain of my clothes don't fit and i can see it when i look in the mirror i can see the cheeks are a little bit bigger blah blah and given that youtube algorithms all across my multiple channels recommend fitness content to me because i'm always watching it no matter what channel i've opened in on any given day i will watch at least one or two weight loss transformations right stories of such people i get recommended shorts of this nature long form content yeah because it's what i consume a lot of i love these right however some of these weight loss transformations are so gobsmacking like <gasps> no that's not the same person no some of them are so inspirational because the person was not only really big but they uh, uh also gained not only did they get skinny but they also gained such a beautiful body afterwards their faces slimmed down and they looked so much younger then what is it they, what it is that they look like prior to losing the weight and their waists are so cinched in their muscles are so well toned it's like whoa right and you look at that uh, situation and you, you you then go into the comment section because i mean such a, a transformation you want to see what in the world and the heaven people gotta say because you're shocked you're gobsmacked you're thrown off your chair you're on the floor rolling because you literally cannot believe how amazing this transformation has been and so you want to see what other people have to say about this woman or this man that's what's good and um uh, you go in there and then that's when you start to see people coming at other people catty like proper catty like rawr, rawr, rawr. it's like uh, did you lose the weight did you did you lose the weight hey yeah no you didn't i just feel as if you're still obese did you have a transformation of that nature did you no you didn't so why are you hating like what's going on you go in the comments section on youtube and last night i went to one that was a shocking transformation this lady right that lost the weight uh showed what she looked like at the age of 40. she was like this is me at 40 and she's this big mama you know she's kind of like cheek heavy and her body is like you know pretty much like a walrus that's what's good looking like a whale archer in these streets yeah people be calling me fat phobic i don't care fat phobic like trend on the internet not my vibe not my style y'all need like lose weight is that basic stop trying to get the world to embrace your unhealthy lifestyle is that basic anyway whatever so here it is that this lady is looking like a walrus right or is it a whale or whatever and then she got so slim so cinched so tiny so skinny that she basically looked like her daughter and she's like first she says she's like this is me at 40 and then she shows us this is me at 45 so at 45 was when she had done a complete haul a transformation and she had gained a lot of muscle her legs her her whole like everything was just looking so good and uh, some of the comments a lot of the comments were like whoa now you look like your daughter whoa this and then i encountered a comment that had something like 900 comments on it like you know when you leave a comment and then other commenters comment on that comment yeah this comment had 900 other comments underneath it and the name the the, the comment says something along the lines of um uh it says something along the lines of um you know this uh, the, 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 yeah it, there is no way that this is her a lot of these videos people are scamming others no one looks like that at 45. Cassie, i was like ha ah, ah, ha ah. so much jealousy i clicked on it hoping that those 900 comments underneath that individual comment was basically telling this one person that don't hate congratulate 
don't hate, appreciate. Don't hate, like elevate, for crying out loud. I was expecting those 900 people to come at this one commenter on some get in the gym, do a bench press because I can see you're depressed about your own obesity and you are just hating on someone that's done a drug low up. Like, someone that's done a transformation, you are just trying to like rain on their parade, cease and desist. Nah. It was other people that were bandwagoning on this. It's the reason why I disabled comments on YouTube and anywhere else it is that I can disable comments. I don't read my notifications on Facebook when they come in because I don't want to read comments. Do you want to know why? Uh, and it's also why I left TikTok. Uh, when you, when one person makes a, a negative comment on your content, all the other jealous freaks in the circus will literally rock up, do you understand, and bandwagon that one comment, climb on it and scratch at you, purr, like growl, hiss at you. They will roar at you, all different kinds of animalistic antics where they will help each other comfort one another in their miserable lives that are not doing anything better for themselves. And they will hurt you, they will poke and prod at you, they will throw darts at you, and they will will sear your emotions they will make sure that you will be afraid to look at any other comments and the negative comments are also so weighing down on you that you would literally abandon ship that's what's good yeah you would entirely abandon ship in reading all the other really positive comments that are helpful that are encouraging you that are pushing you along you would end up ignoring them because the weight of the negative comments is so extensive it's so lofty that it has enough power to mess up your entire day and now if you're persecuted like a rabble if you're going through what i'm going through your life is already really painful you're already very uh, rejected everybody is already treating you like rubbish so you don't want to add insult to that injury so i ended up literally even though i only got one negative comment out of 10 really great ones those negative comments were so weighing down on me they were so heartbreaking that i just like removed comments altogether on youtube i disabled comments and every other platform where comments are still receivable because i don't know where to go in the settings to disable comments um all these other platforms i just don't read the comments i just don't read my notifications on tiktok if you disable your comments your video does not get proliferated algorithmically it does not get pushed out whereas youtube is comment uh what do you call this it's comment neutral in the sense that comments don't affect how well your video does but on tiktok it does affect how well your video does if your comments are closed you're gonna get far less viewership so i had to leave the comments open so more so, so more people would get reached by my content but i stopped reading I, I stopped checking notifications i stopped checking notifications because i would open my notification tab and find something really mean spoken there and it would hurt me more than all the positive comments that I got even though I got more positive comments than none there are freaks lurking in corners that have got far more power to afflict you on the internet than people who have got a positive outlook so this woman who's who was at the age of 40 chubby fat obese and by 45 she looked like a whole you know diva looking excellent most of the comments were good but i focused on the negative i clicked on that one little hater and that hater with the 900 comments underneath her comment i was surprised out of my mind as to the bandwagon the military force the might of an opposition party that came up against this woman in agreement they were in concert they were in tandem with what under heaven it is that this hater was saying and i was shocked there was only one or two a handful five maybe of people that were like oh come on don't hate i can tell that this is her the the the, the people inside this comment this particular comment were saying stuff like yeah it's all photoshop <clears throat> No, there's no way that you can look like that from 40 to 45 at the age of nobody looks like yeah, one of one of the, the comments that stuck out to me was no one looks like this at 45. No one looks like this at 45. This woman just went and grabbed a photo of her daughter and put her daughter there and claimed that it's her. And I, I kept on looking at this and seeing if these people are onto something because you literally can end up changing your mind about something you once believed because of the general common sentiment that is in a comment section. So you might like a person and then somebody will say something in the comment section that might make you second guess them. And I was starting to second guess whether or not that woman's glow up was for real. Until somebody commented in the comment section saying y'all need to stop hating. Look at the tattoo on her forearm. She still got the same tattoo in the older pictures where she was 40. It's the same woman because she's got the same tattoo in her forearm. And that's when I realized that yo, the internet is a messy little gangster danger place. 
It's a danger place where people are thoroughly out here in the streets imaginative that this is your next door neighbor's daughter with whom you can compete. It's your best friend in high school with whom you can compete. It is your colleague with whom you can compete. They don't see them as motivational stars at a distance that frankly just appreciate or move on. But you don't get to compete with a complete stranger on the internet. Granted that you imagine that there is no way that that person can be what they are given that you lack all of that glory. Given that you lack all of that arrived status, if you know what I'm saying, that's what's good. When I saw all of these savage comments coming at this lady saying, no, nah, you had to have done surgery. And even if she did do surgery, like this woman is well-toned, meaning that if she did get remove excess skin, it was after losing so much weight that even that skin would hang. And that's a lot of work put in. Like give credit where it is due. Uh, because she had like a double chin thing going. They were like, she also must have had a facelift. She must have had face surgery. And I'm like, guys, what in the world? What in the world? Like, lost these sister eight. Lost these sister eight. But the resonating common uh, negative comment that was like, you know, emanating, evaporating off this nasty comment section was that no one looks like that at 45. Literally, people were in concert saying to, with each other, to each other, that no one looks like this at 45. This is Photoshop. This is editing. This is this. This is that. And I remember just thinking, okay, look, this is rubbish. Why? Because why under heaven are people who have let themselves go, people who have not taken care of themselves, why under heaven do people who have basically are falling apart at the seams have such a problem with the fact that it is possible for the Lord to grant it to a person to keep themselves preserved? When the comments were flying around saying no one looks like that at 45, I remember thinking I'm 39 in just a few days. And I look like this. I don't look anything close to my actual age. I might be wearing makeup using an application. But I have not changed my contours. I have not um, like made my neck longer or shorter. I have not thinned out my face or made it fatter. I have not changed the shape of my eyes. I have not done any editing on my um, video that would basically decimate how I look in waking life. I just look, I look like the way that I would look if I wore makeup, but I'm not wearing makeup. Uh, currently, I'm not wearing makeup, but I'm, I've put on a makeup application. I've put on a makeup filter. I had videos in the past where I was not wearing any makeup at all and there was no filter. So if I put on a makeup filter, I would probably get like some haters, given that this is the world that we live in, who are going to tell me, oh, it's a filter. She's not that pretty. Except if I were to wear makeup, I would look like this. And even without makeup, I still look somewhat like this. It's just the difference between makeup and not. But there will be people who would then say, nah, it's probably a face filter. Nah, she probably changed the shape of her nose. Nah, she probably shaped, changed the shape of her eyes. Nah, she probably did this. Nah, she probably did that. Nah, she... And it's like, what in the world? Leave other people alone. Leave other children alone. If at all you can't handle the fact that you've left yourself go. If you can't handle the fact that you were busy sunbathing and now your skin is falling apart. Now that you're a woman in her 40s. If you can't handle the fact that there are some people who who God has just preserved its genes as well. If you cannot take that in your stride, you will never ever gain the fruit of righteousness. There is righteousness. The Bible says... That when a person honors the Lord, he renews their youth like eagles. He renews their youth like eagles. So sometimes being virtuous can keep you looking young, like properly. And I believe that that is what has happened with me. Coupled with the fact that I believe it's also genetics because my mom is also slow aging type establishment thing. So a combination of genes and the fact that godliness pays off in the end has kept me looking preserved young at the age of 39 and looking like this at my age is evidence of the fact that at 45 it is possible to look 25 because I am only what like six years away from being 45 it's only six years and a person in six years does not age violently maybe in 10 years maybe in 15 you will see a significant change in a person's body but six years literally a person six years from today tends to look more or less the same more or less the same so for people to rock up in the comment section hating on this lady saying that um no one looks like that at 45 i was like i look like this at 39 and i'm pretty so sure that um, give or take i might look perhaps slightly older after six years from today but i will not look too significantly different after 
after six years from this date from the way that i currently look right now one of the comments uh was saying that i had a friend she was 35 years old and after she lost weight she started to she looked 40 because her face started to sag her face started to sag and she became wrinkly because she lost face fat and that's what made me feel scared to go on my own weight loss journey because i was like what if i lose all this fat on my face that makes me look youthful apparently and then find myself looking my age i will then start looking 39 i will start looking 40 because i will lose the fat on my face if i lose fat on my body but then the lord was like Karabo, first of all have you ever been a fat woman no have you ever lost weight in the past yes well, weight loss, when people lose weight from a certain size, a certain, only when you're a certain girth, does it make a massive difference when you lose weight to your face. But you are not a certain girth, Garabo. You are not big. You're not obese. You are just bigger than you would appreciate. There is likely not even going to be a noticeable difference to your, to the um, diameters of your face, the, the thinness of your face. Highly unlikely going to change when you lose weight because you're not that big. If at all, your ring still fits on your hand. It means that you haven't gotten so fat that you would need to like have a, a resizing or whatever. You don't need to do a resizing. Faces tends to change only with people who have massive transformations who go from really big to thin. And even then, it is not everybody that loses a whole bunch of fat that looks older. I've seen glow ups with people getting skinnier and their faces look younger. They look younger. They look younger. But I was feeling nervous and intimidated by this comment section that was basically saying, uh, I, I knew this one lady who was 35 and after losing weight, she looked 40 because she got wrinkles on her face because all of a sudden everything started to sag because all the connective tissue of the fat in the face left and as a result, everything started to droop. I then remembered celebrities. I thought about celebrities who are over the age of 40 and I was like, Beyonce is over 40. So too is, uh, who is this? Who's this lady? Um, uh, Gabrielle Union uh, is over 40. If anything, she's headed for 50. Um, exactly. Uh, who's this other one? Halle Berry. Over 40. If anything, she's over 50. Never mind. Over 50. Uh, over 40. So, no, it's a complete lie to say that no one looks like that over the age of 40. My mom had my little sister when I believe she was like 42 or 43. My baby sister, right? And by the time she had my little sister, she was, she still had a flat stomach, right? Throughout my youth, my older sister and I, when we grew up, my mother was slender. She only blew up after my baby sister because she was sedentary. When she was in her 30s and, uh, yeah, well, when she was in her 30s, she was always in the gym. My mom used to work out, but she stopped. She stopped working out, so the pregnancy ran sector. She gained that, you know, black, like, the, I like to say that black women... Melanin is on our side. We age gracefully, but the one thing that gives away how old we are is always fat. Black women and fat are like best friends. They just let themselves go at older ages. So the thing that made my mom look older and the thing that also messed with my mom's youthful appearance was the fact that she let her body go. She stopped working out. All she does is eat. And so for those reasons, if you're sedentary, you're going to lose, you're going to gain weight, especially if you have had children, especially if you have had children and especially if you get to a certain age as well, because yes, your metabolism does slow down, uh, developing muscle mass also slows down it's not as, as hectic it does not happen as easily as it would in your 20s and whatnot you do get that uh, belly fat and what have you but there are people who are over the age of 40 who are over there's actually a, a, a white lady on the internet who does fitness right and she keeps on telling people that you you can look a certain way over the age of 40 in so far as you eat right and you work out and she's got this flat little stomach she looks really good on the face and what have you. She's taken care of herself. So when you take care of yourself, you can actually look young for much longer. So we not only have examples in Kim Kardashian who has had a whole bunch of surgery or Beyonce who I don't believe has had surgery on her body. I believe she has had surgery perhaps on her face, but I don't think Beyonce has done any body work. It's all hard work from exercise. And she's been doing it ever since she was a kid. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, Jennifer Lopez, I don't believe has had work on her body that buttock is actually truly hers, but she might have had had work done on her face i don't know but she looks as good as she does because when you take care of your body you actually can look young for a very long amount of time into the future so to just blanketly say that no one looks like that at 45 is to be selfish greedy looking at oneself and how much you've let yourself go and how much you have literally wasted your youth 
on allowing yourself to fall apart because literally when you are young that is when you preserve yourself for when you are old so just because you let yourself go as a kid and now it's catching up with you when you were 40 doesn't mean that everybody else on the earth has done that and there are more than enough examples never mind just in the celebrity community but also just the the, the next door neighbor people that are around you in the office i used to work um Yes, at MTN, when I was working at MTN, there was this one colleague that started working. And I remember I thought at the time, I, I could have been like 27. I thought she was my age. And when I found out that she was basically my age today, she was like 39 or something. I was shocked out of my mind because she looked no older than me, us, on the left and on the right. And she had had at that stage already two children, right? She was a married woman with two children and she looked exactly like us. And I was pleasantly shocked pleasantly surprised at how well she had preserved herself that is a woman that i'm pretty sure that today even though she's basically hitting 50 probably still looks maybe 35 maybe 35 it is a combination of genes and taking care of yourself and yes there are people who do look 25 at 45 it totally happens but there are haters on the internet that will tell you drop the ball because you're at that age where belly fat is a thing drop the ball because you're at that age where metabolism uh slowing down as a thing just give up once you have uh, pushed the envelope past 40 just give up once you've pushed the envelope past 35 just give up and you will sometimes be tempted to give up telling yourself that i guess you gotta give other children a chance to shine and glow you had your time when you were 25 now that you're 35 i guess it's okay for you to look 50 what in the world i found myself in this dingy little Randall space in youtube and i was like people now feel like it is their prerogative to tell human beings that have started channels on youtube that are inspiring others that stop because they properly think or they properly feel they properly believe that they are competing on the same league with them because they're the same age and they've got more or less the same background so just because we we're both born in 1984 or just because we're both millennials or just because we're both gen x or gen z we can then compete with each other even though you're sitting at home a little bit of a bum that's not trying to do anything or you've got a boring career or you're talentless or you have got issues that are gargantuan in your character you are a naysayer you are a spectator of other people's lives all you do is just watch other people and so because of how much better they're doing in comparison to you in a particular niche or field of life you then go on right ahead and project your fallenness on them you then project your fallenness on them and you say no one looks that good at 45 well if that was the truth and the lord has seen it has seen it fit to rather keep this concern going for another 30 years as opposed to rapturing us in a minute from now i am essentially of all people most to be pitied because i am 39 in a few days having never been married, having never gotten children, having never basically been allowed to live because uh, the past decade of my life has been persecuted. I am most to be pitied because apparently my youth has been ripped from underneath my feet and the glory of that splendor that I had in my youth is now about to go flying out the window like a bird. And so I might as well just accept that it's often now. And so take anything that comes my way. Your chat and you feel like just anything. Get impregnated by just anything. Just do whatever because I am at that age where I guess I'm gonna have to start forgetting that I once had an hourglass shape. I once had a flat stomach. I once was able to tone my muscle, but now I'm past a particular age. So forget it. I am apparently supposed to give up. But you see, the thing about these glow ups that I like watching on the internet, some of them are of people who are like 47, 57, 62, and they look 35. They look 40 at the age of 60. And they are so toned, so ripped, so firm, having so, so much, some, so much better bodies, even than me who is only 39 while they are 62, that I'm like, it is still possible to build some pretty impressive muscle at 65. It is because I have seen inspirational cases on the internet. I watch such content a lot because I in and of myself get motivated by it because I have to keep myself going. I, I lack motivation because of my sorrowful situation. And when I watch these people, I get juiced again. I get pumped again. So if at all, I can watch a woman who is 48 years old looking better than me when I'm 39 I'm like I'm sorry I'm running with her inspirational story because it's what I would much rather fashion my life after than this naysayer who keeps on saying no one looks like that at 45 until they meet Gabrielle Union I'm sorry Gabrielle is not the best of human beings in terms of character but she's a mighty excellent example to display to you what happens when a person takes care of themselves well into old age she does not look older than her husband with all, uh, that she's 10 years older than despite being 10 years older than him despite women aging 
faster than men. She still looks like she is either the peer of or even younger than Dwayne Wade. How did Gabrielle get that done? Gabrielle Union is not one of those celebrities in the entertainment industry that is constantly going under the knife and you can see it. She may or may not have had a nose job, but I don't think she's ever had any work done on her body. I don't believe she's done very much to her face. She is a woman that has just maintained a particular lifestyle from very young. And today it is paying off for her in her older age to a point where she does not look too much older than her younger husband. So what, what in the world is going on? with these naysayers on the internet. That's who is facing me right now. I am not so much envied over my fitness glow up or lack thereof. It's my ministry. It is my godliness. It is the fact that I'm holding on to Jesus and I still have hope for a woman who is advanced in her years for the kinds of things that she has in her life. I basically have nothing to show for my 39 years of life because of persecution. And people are telling me no one is able to start afresh or do a better thing or still have a very excellent life to look forward to when at 39 they are living at the back of their mother's house in a shack gathering dust, going nowhere, doing absolutely nothing. I am being told, forget about your glow up, Garabo. Dream on. Even this desire to go back to fitness, to go back to exercising because you can see that you're gaining weight. What's the point? The ship has sailed. It's over. Dream on. Just take that random buffoon with HIV from the United States of America that insists on coming into your life. Just take him. Hey, I, I woke up this morning being told by demonic entities, thanks to the witchcraft of certain people around me, that I might as well go and do OnlyFans. I'm a Christian and I am being told by haters on the internet that you and the celibacy, you and this chastity, you and this walk with Jesus, you might as well become a little prostitute on the internet. At least you won't sleep with men. All you got to do is strip naked for them and they will pay you for it. OnlyFans. Do you know what OnlyFans is? It is some European platform of lewd, um, uh, yeah, under pinnings that has basically converted teenagers and young women on the internet into little prostitutes into red light district prostitutes even though they don't sleep with the men they basically get naked stripped naked for men who pay them a fee for them to be licentious and they're like well you're still a beautiful woman while there is still something salvageable about you since you don't age and you pride yourself in the fact that you are an aging uh, how about you use whatever is left of your young days, Garabo, to do OnlyFans? You'll still maintain your celibacy, but how about you strip it down naked for some buggers out you in these streets who will pay you and you will still continue to pretend you're, you're a Christian? Yeah, that's witchcraft. Like when people go out of their way to do that to someone they don't even know, sitting there at a distance. She will be a prostitute. The kinds of spells that people are casting, the kinds of negativity that are that come from the world outside of a person that's doing a better thing. And they say, you're 39. What can you possibly do from this place going forward? What? Just like saying to a woman who has had an excellent glow up and it's clear that it's her because her tattoo in her forearm is, is evidencing that this is the same woman having some random haters in the comment section saying to her, no one looks like that at 45. Yeah, except for people who go in the gym, like spend every single day, a minimum one hour for two, three years to end up going from 200 kilograms to 65. And whether or not they have had skin removal surgery or like... um what is this like facelifts it doesn't matter bottom line is they put in the work why are you hating why are you hating there are evidences of people who have done a better thing here on earth and when you look at their cases you realize that this earth is full of a whole bunch of talentless randos that are watching people who are striving to do a better thing and they are trying to bring them down because we're living in the last days when i got that dream where i was shown a witch trying to get me to do only fans i was like wow how low can you go? How low can you go? Grab a whole Christian woman and convert her into a red light district prostitute. How low can you go? People think that they can just cast a spell and make people change their characters, their personalities overnight just like that. <sighs> I have not had a child. So for those reasons, I'm going to be benefited to a certain extent when it comes to weight loss and maintaining my shape at my age. Perhaps maybe when I have my first kid, should the Lord allow that to happen? Can you then strive and hope that I will become like a typical black woman who loses the, the spunk of a youthful splendor because she let herself get fat? That, that's, the, that, that, that's the black woman's curse. They get fat. They might have melanin on their side. And so therefore they're black don't crack. They age slower than other races of women out there be precisely because they're black. But they have a thing about letting themselves go. They get fat. And so because they get fat, they end up looking big. They end up looking older. And I have got a woman of that nature looking at me right now that's allowed herself to basically blow up like a balloon making like Lizzo saying of me that I'm fat phobic to highlight that she's fat and she's come at me trying to get a sister to do OnlyFans. 
trying to get a sister to twerk it up a storm on the internet that I might get people putting money in my underwear. People putting money in my underwear like I'm a prostitute and a stripper when I made it clear that the Lord has uh, the, uh, warned me. Do you understand what I'm saying? To seize and desist from licentiousness, from sensuality, from dancing in a particular way. If I want to be fit, I have to do it in a way that honors him. And this woman is like, well, if you've done it before, it's a demon that I can conjure up again in you and you, it's going to rise up again in you. And you're going to strip. You're going to twerk like Nas Janess and men will then give you money in that way. That's how, Garabo, you're going to compromise your Christian ministry. I had a dream. The the other day there was this really uh, beautiful girl that i follow on the internet by the name of jess her channel is called only one jess she does hair content but she also does a mix of other things i really love her her channel to a point where i can watch her one hour two hour vlogs and i feel like just her doing her own life i absolutely love that girl there's something about her that i just really dig right uh i was jess but instead of her instead of being just the christian girl that does hair content that does vlogs of going on trips with her husband and what have you instead of me being like that i was rather just that was i was on a couch in a lewd licentious position uh moving like a snake wearing lingerie and you know her jess's channel's little jingle goes only one jess only one jess only one jess only one jess and it was going in the background only one jess only one jess only one jess that only one jess jingle was playing while while i being jess was lovable and followed by people but only because i was naked and showing off my body to the world and that's not what jess does but that dream was telling me only way that you're going to basically be inspirational and lovable the way that jess currently is only way that you're going to grow your channel to that place is if you strip down naked and let men ogle at your body and put money in your panties i was like wow mm. That's the only way, Garabo, that at 39, anybody is going to be looking at you anymore. I'm like, I am a Christian. And if the Lord will see it fit to give me the prosperity, for instance, of Jess, it will be at his own timing and at his own will, at his own decree. And of course, within a an honoring space where I am obedient to him. But witches, they will literally come at you and bewitch everything, everything, all the way down to your virtue. They will uh, bewitch your character. They will bewitch your hair. They will bewitch you anything they get ideas like the sins that i uh repented from they are trying to get me to go back to and now they are going down all the way literally how low can you go all the way down to the point of saying become a red light district prostitute and get paid that way allow yourself to get donated one thousand dollars by a pervert on the internet that's going to like how you bounce your booty up and down that's going to adore your nakedness when you show people your six-pack when you show people your your uh, muscle development on your thighs and on your calves and what have you wearing nothing but a bikini like be licentious be like these typical gym girls on the internet currently in the world that are doing a really great thing to build their bodies it's inspirational but they are licentious they're lewd they're they're immodest they're showing off their bodies in a way that god would not be uh, uh, um what is this pleased with so go on right ahead and build your body do you but afterwards come and show everybody your nakedness so that you can finally get those donations coming in except i made it clear that one i don't ever intend on monetizing ministry um and secondly i also intend to monetize fitness but in a healthy way that is christian with my body completely covered and with me dancing in a way that does not dishonor god i am trying to repent from the old way of doing things precisely because the lord convicted me and the holy spirit is ne never ever going to let it go he is never ever going to let me because uh, a fa the father disciplines the son and the daughter whom he loves so he's not just going to let me roam around in licentiousness if anything when i was busy being licentious he was convicting me convicting me convicting me and when i wouldn't listen to him i got hurt because of some pervert that ended up harassing me and still to this day he's still harassing me because he saw certain images of me on the internet so i've learned my lesson the lord brought me back from being a little bit of a prodigal in that one particular area and now that i am back home i'm not about to make like michael jackson and moon walk backwards i will rebuild my body but in a way that honors god and weight loss you don't gotta show your weight loss naked there's a woman actually on the internet um she's christian and she does fitness and she's fully clothed she's fully clothed she does she, you can tell that she's built some muscles that she obviously has a six-pack underneath her shirt you can tell that she wears like you know full leggings and full shirts and you see that she is fit because her arms are toned you see that she's fit because underneath her leggings you can see that she's got a toned body she does not reveal umzimbawa 
like him and she trains and when i found this woman's channel i subscribed to her when i found it i was like she's my motivation she is a christian fitness influencer that is all covered up and you can see her progress you can see her weight loss when she loses weight um and you can also see her her muscle development when she gets thicker as a result of lifting uh you know doing strength training but you do not see immodesty you you see that she is a well toned woman but in a clothed way in a clothed way and when i happened upon this particular channel i made it my my life's goal mission to basically become in and of myself a fitness influencer like her she became my role model paul says in the scriptures that follow me insofar as i'm following jesus so that woman follows jesus and i'm gonna follow her model we're gonna of course she has her own style of training in the same way that i have my own style dance is my thing but i'm gonna clean it up and when I clean it up, I'm going to lose my weight. I'm going to regain my muscle. And when I do, it'll be clear that I have gained my muscle. I have lost weight, but in a way that is covered and clothed, not dishonoring to God. So that when the Lord, should the Lord decide not to rapture the church today, but rather give me a life um, out there to live, to continue to thrive and occupy the earth. Should the Lord see it for to do that, I will be an inspiration to Christian women in a way that does not stumble Christian women. And also in a way that does not stumble men. In a way that is just a woman that loves fitness, but unto Jesus Christ. That's what's good. For physical training is of, is of some benefit, that saith the Bible as well. So all of these haters on the internet trying to cause a celibate woman that is, has been chased for 12 whole years to become an OnlyFans model. What are you doing? And all these people that are saying there is no way that you can look that good at 45. It's only because you're sitting around as a blob at 35. And so at 45, you're going to look a particular way. That woman on the internet that looked really excellent from 40 to 45 was a mother of a couple of children. And yet she looked so glorious at 45 to a point where uh, one comment that had 900 other comments underneath it was putting her down because she did a better thing. And she started at 40. I'm 39. And I'm not even starting at 39. I dropped the ball for a year, but I've been fit since about 32. I've been getting fit from around 32, 33. That's when I decided that, you know what, I'm going to take charge of my health because I'm not just going to sit around and watch my years go by while everything just falls apart. I'm going to keep myself in a bunch. And I was fit for years and I dropped the ball for a year because some fool walked up in my life, broke me, shattered me, bewitched the living dead out of my life until I could not like lift a dumbbell anymore. And so I sat around sedentary for a couple of months and now I'm gaining weight and the weight has been slow to come, but I've gained it. And now I'm going to lose it again. But in the run up to me losing that weight, in the run up to me going back to exercise, I'm actually going to work out today. After eating breakfast, it's settling down and I have no energy fueled in my body. I'm going to dance. I'm going to work out. I am going to show you my journey and you're going to see me lose the weight and it will not be licentious it will not be um lascivious there will be nothing of it that is stumbling that is uh, a caricature of the person that i used to be in christ just a, a mere shadow no it will not be that i will still be a woman that can dance with skill because that's what god gave me but i will use that talent for the glory of the most high i will give it all back to him for he's the one that gave it to me and because when you give to god that which when you use that which the lord god almighty has given you to use he magnifies it he's only going to improve me like in the parable of the talents the guy who made two was given two more the the guy who made five talents was given five more but it's the guy with the one talent that buried it in the ground that ended up losing it and getting thrown into the outer darkness but then god God gave that one talent to the guy who made five more so now the guy with the five more talents ended up with 11 in total so if i work really hard on cleaning up my dance and walking away from licentiousness and lasciviousness i will find myself getting better and better skilled at working out in a way that does not stumble and when i get smooth when i get good when i get better you guys, I get really good. I, 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 I have energy. I have motivation. And so I can push for like hours. I can exercise for as long as I want because it's fun. It's like dancing. It's like, you know, being at a party. It's it's not work to me. You know, like uh, people who go out clubbing or whatever. I'm sorry to have to use the example. I'm not proliferating clubbing, but I'm using an example. They can dance like all night long in the club, like going down and everything. Literally real proper exercise, but they struggle to go to the gymnasium. That's what exercise is like for me. It's like being in the club all night long dancing and not feeling like i'm exercising until i realize that my body has been built but instead of it being a club it's just playing music right here in the yard now in terms of music i've got a strategy around it i will still use music that is 
secular guys but i'm going to make sure that it's clean secular music not everything is um is wicked in the world that is being produced out there because simply because i struggle to work out to just basic instrumentals or music that doesn't have any lyrics in it or whatever because i tend to dance to the lyrics you know what i mean so um i i am literally looking for playlists on the internet right now of music that does not stumble people that is just good old-fashioned wholesome music produced by artists in the world that are secular the other day i did exactly that that bruno mars song um dun, 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 woo, such music that's what uptown yeah you know bruno mars's uptown song yeah I, I intend to dance to music like that which is clean even though it's secular uh because i have literally nothing else to work i tried to use gym music just basic instrumentals i have no motivation i need music whose lyrics i can sing to so that i can copy so that i can basically act out my dance as i uh act the lyrics out uh and it's not going to be hard to find that because there's a lot of people on the internet who upload clean secular music um that uh, does not have licentious language in it and also that does not have licentious suggestion in it and i'll just dance to that and i will speed edit it change the tone the tune of the music so that it doesn't get copywritten on youtube and that's what i will upload um and you will watch me like narrow down lose the weight as well as getting toned in terms of clothing i suga i'll make a plan i'm currently bigger than most of my clothes i will lose the weight and then i will start to fit into the clothes and then I, they will start to get big again because my intention is to get slender real slender because i prefer my frame thin i prefer thin i don't even like this um new trend of thick skinny girl thick like you know bbl thick i like being skinny like thin like just thin and that's how i am when it comes to food i won't really change that i already only eat twice a day because it's all that my body can handle um and when i work out I, I'm, I'm already on a caloric deficit when i exercise it is an automatic caloric deficit so there's nothing i have to change there i eat whatever i want twice a day and I will lose the weight because my metabolism is like that unless of course my age has caught up with me and my metabolism is not the same in which case i will i will discover it i will identify it and, and then i will like maybe start to do um to be intentional about counting calories which i doubt i'm not that girl but i tend to eat healthily the one meal the, the meal a day that i eat in the evening is rich with vegetables because it's what my mom cooks and then in the mornings i have um this shake that i make that i drink that is very high in, in nutrients and proteins and what have you it helps grow my hair also helps with my body i have that uh once when i am working out uh and when i'm not working out i have it once but when i am exercising i drink it again after my workout as some kind of a reboost energizer thing and i also have this fruit juice that i make uh, that mixes a whole bunch of fruit in a day because i struggle to eat fruit so the way that i eat fruit easily for me is to juice it so that i can just like go 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 gulp it down uh that fruit juice in it i add some turmeric and some rosemary and what have you to make it a little bit more healthy so that's what i have so the uh, while people might have three meals a day the meal in the day that would be the tantamount of my third meal is that fruit juice because it's a combination of a malt of many fruits it's like having a, a a fruit salad for lunch type thing i eat breakfast and dinner and then a fruit salad in the middle it's the way that i've been eating for years it's because my body cannot eat more than that um given that i started uh, in the beginning of my persecution i was being harassed quite a lot and food was something that was not available easily so i got taught or learned a fasted lifestyle and it re it changed it recalibrated what my body expects in terms of food and ever since then i've never been able to eat three meals a day again or more than what was absolutely necessary so i was basically made healthy by force that's what's good um yeah and uh yeah guys i don't count calories i i don't and when i the, the, when i do eat i eat whatever portions i want to eat but i still lose the weight anyway but i will let you guys know as my journey progresses how in the world under heaven that happened but uh only fans you can dream on like i'm not a prostitute i'm a daughter of god and also letting myself go no way i'm not gonna not work out because i'm scared that if i lose a facial fat i'm going to lose my youthful appearance if that's what happens then by all means i don't care bottom line is i'm gonna take care of my body as for all of the hate on the internet um whoa like people get lives like get lives like proper ish get lives you know do a better thing do a better thing stop looking at other people get in the gym yourself find a craft that you like that excites you and use that if walking works for you walk instead of looking at other people and being like there's no way she's 40 she's using a filter there's no way she's 45 she's using a filter or uh, it's surgery even if it is surgery she still went in the gym did some proper squats did some proper deadlifts lost the weight actually like re like changed her diet did something very difficult that you're not doing right now so give credit where it is due and thank god for that tattoo because it made it clear that it's the exact same woman
people on the internet be out here in these streets being crazy. I have a life to go and grab if the Lord does not take the church in the rapture. And there's no way that I'm just going to let myself go. Like proper, I'm not letting myself go. So let's get into this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Gwing, 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 woo! Let's do this, you guys. Uh, I will show you my workouts every single day. That's how I'm going to motivate myself. I'm going to upload them raw, um, having edited the music so that it doesn't get copywritten. And I'm going to show you what in the world under heaven I do to get strong. I'm going to do it every single day. Well, in the week, like, yeah, because I intend to take two days break in the middle so that I don't tire myself out uh, violently. I need to pee. I'm so praised. But anyway, we're going to finish this thing. I'm going to upload it every day to keep myself motivated. And uh, yeah, we'll just watch my journey together. And you're going to see me get thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. And I'll let you guys know every single day as well what I ate. It's the same food every single day. Uh, uh, muesli in the mornings, my drinks, my three shake, my, my fruit juice and my two shakes since I'm exercising and dinner. Yeah, that, that's what under heaven it is that I eat. But just in case it changes, I'll let you guys know. And, it, you know, every so often my mom sometimes gets delicacies like, uh, what is this, like cookies and whatnot. I eat, I, I, I eat. I don't watch what I eat, but I do exercise a lot when I do exercise. And in the beginning, it's going to be slow. I'm probably only going to be doing 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. But I intend to ramp it back up to where it is that I come from, where I would do a whole two hours without even seeing the time going by. Two to two and a half hours. And then we'll get my body back again. So praise the Lord. I can't stand to see how chubby I have gotten in the mirror. It's really, quite frankly, shocking. I am aghast, aghast at my weight gain. But the Lord correct. That's what's good. I adore you in Christ's name, Cranky. Haters like star proper, like literally recognize strangers far away on the internet is exactly that. Strangers, they're not there for you to be wish. They're not there for you to bring down. They're not there for you to drag through the mud. They might not have gone through an audition in the like regular sense in order to get their platform. But bottom line is they put in the exact same amount of work. Like if you worked when in and of yourself, on yourself, you might be less hateful of other people that are doing a better thing out here in these streets. I'm signing out in Christ's name, Crank A. Peace.